Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Let's celebrate God's goodness through our TV program na talaga namang punong-puno ng pagmamahal na galing sa ating Panginoong Isus. Power Influencer Be blessed as Pastora Celeste Nicolas of Wisdom Church of Manila will discuss live topics and share the power of His words. Pamana Exploring Filipino Legacy with Pink Rose of Philippine Heritage Society will share about our Filipino heritage, culture, and the arts, co-hosted by Nathan DeLeo. A Journey with Joanna Marie will share passion and fashion stories of successful people plus sharing love to charities or organizations. Let's start with... Hello, influencers. It's a joy and a privilege to have you join me here today. My name is Pastor Celeste Nicholas of Wisdom Church of Manila, and this is Power Influencer. Our mission is to bring you the power of the uncompromised Word of God so that you experience God's abundant life. So today's topic is hearing from God. Allow me to start with this verse, Romans 10, 17. It says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Now, in general, when we talk about the Word of God, it actually means two things. The first one is we're talking about the written Word of God, the Bible, the logos, right? And then the second one, we're talking about the spoken Word of God, which we call rhema. So today, I want to talk to you more about rhema, the spoken Word of God, and its power to move you from a place of defeat to victory in your life. So rhema, rhema is the personal revelation that you receive from the Lord when you read the Bible. It is the verse or verses that are highlighted to you, that are illuminated when you read the Bible, right? And also rhema is the still, small voice of God in your spirit. Rhema is also the message. It's the instruction, it's the strategies, the solutions, the answers that you hear from the Lord when you have your prayer time. Rhema is also the sudden message, the sudden revelation from God out of nowhere, right? For example, you're thinking about your work, you're working, you're, you're um, focusing, you're actually serious about thinking about strategies and stuff about your work. And then all of a sudden, a thought about your child popped into your mind, right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, reminding you of what you need to do. That's Rhema. That's an example of rhema. For me, at least personally, I feel like that's a message from the Lord. Also, I have to say this, rhema doesn't contradict the Word of God, the Bible, Logos. Now, in Romans 10, 17, the Word of God that it's talking about in this verse is rhema, not Logos. It is about hearing from God, His spoken Word to you. Now, you know what? It's very sad because a lot of times Christians hear the Word of God but they don't hear from God. My brothers and sisters, hearing from God is what's going to fuel your faith and bring you into a higher level of your life. Hearing from God stirs up supernatural faith inside of you. The voice of God is what's going to kill every doubt in your heart. You see, no one hears from God and doubts Him, right? You can't hear directly from the Lord hear His instructions or promises to you, and then start doubting Him. I pray that as you listen to my voice right now, every supernatural deafness be healed today in Jesus' name. You know, most breakthroughs and testimonies that we hear starts with, God told me, God said to me, or I heard God said, and then followed by their obedience, and then they saw their breakthroughs. Did you know in the Bible, Moses heard from God and obeyed acted on his faith and brought the Israelites out of Egypt. What about Abraham? Abraham heard from God and obeyed, acted on his faith to sacrifice his only son, right? Isaac, and he became the father of many nations. What about Isaac? Isaac heard from God and obeyed. He acted on his faith to stay in the land of Gerar, right? And the Lord prospered him a hundredfold. 
the heroes of our faith in the Bible heard from God, right? They heard from God, they acted on their faith, and they have achieved extraordinary and supernatural results in their lives. So listen, my brothers and sisters, when you hear from God, it actually empowers you to do extraordinary things in your life as well. The reason why most Christians are powerless today is because we're not taking the time to access his voice, to hear from him, like the heroes of faith that we know. My brothers and sisters, God still speaks today. We serve a living God who cares about the daily details of our lives. He speaks to us. In John 10, verses 4 to 5, it says, And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Verse 5, it says, Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Now, in these two verses, Jesus was talking about the relationship of sheep to their shepherd, to their master. The sheep know their shepherd's voice. The sheep, by no means, it says, will follow a stranger's voice. Now, later on, Jesus explained that he is, right? Jesus is the true shepherd, and we are the sheep. John 10, 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Did you know that this word know doesn't mean having a knowledge of someone's name? Right? For example, you know my name, Pastor Celeste Nicholas, right? But you don't know the details of my life. So the word know from this verse is actually from a Greek word that means to understand, to perceive, to have knowledge of, to feel. And this is what's more important. It means intimacy between a husband and a wife. Therefore, this word know pertains to intimacy in a relationship. This is the kind of knowing that we need to have with God. It's like an intimate relationship that is shared by a husband and wife. A husband and wife are so close, right? They know each other so well, so they can tell each other's voice. They can tell each other's ways, even from a large group of people, right? So that's the kind of intimacy that we're talking about here. My brothers and sisters, to hear God is to know God. It's to have an intimate relationship with Him. John 10, 4 to 5 again says, And the sheep follow Him, for they know His voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger. So listen, when you know God, you know His ways, you know His heart for you, you know that He wants you to live an abundant life, right? You know that He has given you a hope in a bright future. When you know God's personality and character, then you can rightfully discern His voice from a voice of a stranger. And the more you know God, the clearer His voice will be in your life. I pray that this message stirred up the desire inside of you to seek the Lord and hear from Him so that you see and experience breakthroughs in your life. I pray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation be upon you so that you may know our God better. Before we end, I'd like to share this testimony with you from Wisdom Church of Manila. Hi, my name is uh, Veronica Veron. I'm a businesswoman and at the same time, I'm a movie actress and a host now. Paano ba ako na punta sa Wisdom of Church? Last year yon, sinama ako dito ni Sister Phoebe. And then, I was broken then. Sobra. My finances. Love life ko na yung time na yon. So, talagang broken ako. Iyak ako na iyak. Nag-church ako, ma-attend ako dito. And may iba akong mga churches na pinuntahan. Pero still, dito ako nag-stick. Kasi na... na Nakita ko rin naman sa iba yung mga, mga blessing ni God, pero parang dito kasi talagang mas naramdaman ko ng to, yung mga teaching ni, Se, ni Pastora Celeste. 
ang bigat-bigat ng nararamdaman ko. Imagine, di ba, nag-pandemic, lahat ng in- finances mo, napunta dun sa isang bagay na lahat dun, tapos sinabayan pa ng heartache. So talagang, hindi ko na alam ang gagawin ko. Sa isang event, na awarded ako ng uh, Business Woman of the Year, po, dun nag-start. So after ang dinala na ako dito, pinakilala niya ako dito sa Wisdom ng Church of Manila, So, ma-attend ako every Sunday. At first, parang okay lang, attend lang ako ng attend. Tapos, nakikinig ako kala Pastor Saldi. After na, unti-unti. So, na, na-absorb ko na. Na humingi ako ng blessing kay God. Every day na ako. Tapos, nagpa-follow na ako. And there's a time na sinendan din ako ni um, Brian about the eight foundation of abundant of life. So, pinanood ko yon sin sa TV, every morning, tapos nakikinig ako ng gospel song, so nag-follow ako doon. So, January 1, nag-church ako dito, no, New Year. Yun doon nag-start lang bago, because doon ko lahat, isinuko lahat. Kasi nung umaten ako nung church no, nung service na yun, because sabi ni Pastora Celeste, is a uh, jubilee, parang new beginning. And then may sinabi siya doon na, meron din na ipag-pray mo, Mag-pray ka kay God kung anong mangyayari sa start ng year na all throughout the year. Meron kang marinig na voice. At first sabi ko, hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga voices na yan na narinig ka from the Holy Spirit. And there's a time na nung January 1 na yon after nun kinabukasan, nag-pray ako ng morning. Sabi ko, Lord, pray ako ng pray, ano bang gagawin ko? Alam mo, may bukunong siya. Narinig ko yun, swear na. Sabi niya na, everything will be okay. Everything will be all right. Nung naramdaman ko yun, sobrang talaga umiyak ako. Sa ko, Lord, this is it. So, alam mo, ginawa ko, pinanghawakan ko yun. Totoo, pinanghawakan ko yun. And nanuwala ako. Pray ako ng pray. Then, eto na, yun yung time na. Nung time last year, nung duwan yung last 22, 2022, is nag-ano ako, talagang sabi ko, meron isang property ko doon, yung property ko, which is the condominium na talagang, gusto ko na siyang i-let go kasi at first hindi ko siyang ma-let go kasi imagine I've been there next day ako for six years pero kailangan ko siyang i-let go kasi lahat ng finances ko nandun eh so wala na ako halos sa panggalaw pero still last year pinipigyan niya naman ako mga projects pero no January na no nag-declare na ako no pinalo ko yun sa fruit of mouth na sa nabi i-declare mo everyday mula morning and evening Lord Pabebenta ko itong condominium ko ito before matapos ang January 30. Every day, every day, pinag-pray ko po yun talaga. So, alam mo nangyari? Binigyan niya ako ng, binigyan niya ako ng inquire sa akin. Maraming nag-inquire. First ko, Lord, ikaw na ang bahala kasi gusto ko mapunta pa rin yung kondo ko sa magandang, yung maalagaan. So, alam niyo, binigay niya, pastor din yung bumili. So, pumunta sa akin, nakipag-usap. Tapos parang at first, parang parang magdalang may isip ako nauna, siyempre. Pero hanggang sa God, this is it, Lord. Hanggang eto na, nagbigay na ng down payment. May mga check ako ngayon. So ang ginawa ko po, nung nag-down pala sa akin ng reservation, pinigay ko agad yung 10% po nun. And ang binigay niya ni Lord, yung tithing and seeds, when mula nagtatanig ka, binigay niya. Until now, kahit nung kabibigay ko, may nagdi-deposit sa Gcash ko, ang dami kong projects. Ang dami, sobrang, like ngayon, sunod-sunod yung project. So, sa TV, sa hosting, and yung work ko, yun po, ang pinaka masishare ko talaga, kailangan lang po natin ipigay natin yung obligasyon natin kay Lord, yung tithings and planting seeds po. Thank God, sa dami na nangyaring blessing sa akin dito. First, trust, uh, believe, and uh, word of mouth, na every time na kaingat po yung paglabas, pag sinasabi natin, Every time na dinideclare mo yan, yun yung na-attract mo, which is true. Kung attraction mo, kung ano pong love life, anything, pwede po masahilingin mo kay Lord. And maniwala ka and claim mo na po yun. Yun yung na, natutunan ko dito sa Church of Manila. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more empowering and equipping messages from us, you can visit our YouTube channel at Wisdom Church of Manila to find out more about our church, about our Sunday worship service, and more. You can visit our website at wisdomchurchofmanila.com.
www.thepeacefulpeoplesmovement.org. If you have any prayer request, you can send a Viber or a text message to 0976 068 2022 and our prayer team will get in touch with you and help you out. This is Pastor Celeste Nicholas of Wisdom Church of Manila teaching you how to experience God's abundant life. Blessings to you and blessings to your family. See you next time.